Are you tired of being a disembodied voice when you're presenting PowerPoints or slideshows or any other content on a Zoom call? On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix that. But before I go any further, please remember, if you do like this video, to hit the thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I post my next video. So on today's video, I'm going to show you a feature which has come in recently on Zoom that I realized a few people don't know about and just to show you quickly how it works. But before I do that, I'm going to show you how most people have been doing presentations or doing talks on Zoom. So what you can see here on screen is actually the Zoom call that I've got running on my monitor at the moment. And I have a PowerPoint slideshow loaded up. And what most people are doing at the moment is they are finding the, uh, the slideshow that they want to share with the audience, hitting share. And as you can see here, that then means that they can't be seen on screen. So this little window here does show me the videos of the other people on the call, but the people that are watching this, all they will be able to see is the slideshow. They won't be able to see me, um, except for just a little thumbnail up in the corner. Now, what the new functionality of Zoom allows you to do instead of sharing it that way is again, if you share screen, but if you go up to advanced, there's an option to show PowerPoint as a virtual background. If I choose that option, I can then find the PowerPoint show that I wanted to do, the, just the PowerPoint file. You don't need PowerPoint open initially. You can open that and then hit share. And what then happens, as you can see, is I am now visible over the top of the slide in the same way that you would be all of those fun virtual backgrounds that you've been using. It's actually using the PowerPoint slideshow as the virtual background. But instead of leaving you the same size, it will drop you down into the corner. But you don't have to stay that size. You can, if you need to, move this around. So we can see there. So if you needed to go up in the corner, you could do that. What you can also do is you can grab the corners of this and you can make yourself bigger or smaller as you need to. So maybe you need to be over this side. And on the screen that you're, uh, you can see the slideshow, you can use the arrows to move through the slides. Now, one thing just to be aware of with this is that if you have got any animations or transitions in your slideshow, those will not work, okay? It will show the entirety of the slide all in one go, so it doesn't respect any animations, unfortunately. This feature is still in beta, so no doubt this will improve. Um, perhaps I'll bring the animations in later. So that's a nice, useful little addition. And then when you're finished with sharing your PowerPoint, then you can stop the share and it just takes you back to the normal call. Uh, and obviously here, you know, you could be in your normal gallery view. Again, one of the other limitations that there seems to be with this, if I just share that content again, is that once you go into, even if you are running multiple monitors, once you start sharing the presentation, Unfortunately, you can't have the gallery view. All you get is this little uh, window up here. So hopefully that's been useful. And if you've got any questions about this, then please do drop them down in the comments. And I hope you have fun with it. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.